what's up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson 4 here bringing you guys more quality events warfare today i'm bringing you guys a 49 gameplay with the bow and uh, the bow i'm telling you guys is one hell of a weapon only if you customize it the right way also i noticed that the assault rifle division is kind of low right now the ak and the uh, other one that shoots like a kind of like an ak um it's just not working. I mean, it's not even worth spending time with the other assault rifles. It's all about the bell. That's kind of sad because you know, in Black Ops 2 and the other, uh, you know, Call of Duty games like uh, Black Ops 1, also we had the Fal and you got the, uh, you know, Galil and all these other guns like the AK and you know they were all balanced style. You can use whatever gun you want. It's only if you customize it right. And it's kind of sad that only the bell actually works in the assault rifle division. I thought it was going to be more weapon selection. This is one sad thing here in the uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare game. I mean, if they have more weapon selection, maybe more variety or something, maybe some new additions, it will be a good game. But overall, with just the bell only being the most preferable weapon here in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, it's kind of sad. I don't know why people still defend this game. It's just that uh, it's not that customizable. Like, come on, man. Let me choose more weapons than just the bell. I want to use the AK. I want to use... Uh, the scar or whatever you know just let me use some other weapons and let them be balanced but it's the worst balanced game ever because only the bell works it's kind of sad really man i don't want to become like a one single weapon man um so anyways yeah the bell uh the current uh, customized weapon that i have right now is uh pretty much good uh for short range medium range and even long range it's good for all ranges that's the thing about the bell even without the attachments the gun is still great so um, I do have a Blitz class set up for it and I, I did customize it in a way that it allows you to uh, move around when it comes down to short situations, uh, short situations, sorry. Um, the short range uh, situation is pretty much uh, my strong point on this one because I really wanted it to be uh, an all-rounder here. So in order for me just not, not to move slowly every time I aim from uh, face to face, you know, when it comes down to 1v1 situations, I had to add the little stock attachment. Without the stock, I pretty much felt like I was slow. I felt like I was bulky, you know, like it was just kind of weird without the stock. So and now I have the stock attachment and it's now allowing me to actually take on people from face to face. It's pretty much of a great weapon and all. It's just that, uh, you know, I just really wish there was another weapon that can compete against the bow. But so far, nothing. If there was a whole lobby with uh, pro players, the bow will be the number one weapon being chosen by everyone. And uh, another thing, guys, that I don't really get is why people are using the ASM. Right now, the ASM for me is the most weakened uh, SMG there is around here, man. I used the the ASM a few times, and I was like, what the fuck? It doesn't feel like day one. And day one, the ASM used to be stronger than this. I thought it was stronger, but I noticed, I've been noticing lately that I've been using like more than half of the mag maybe like two-thirds of the mag to kill someone i was like what the fuck i feel like i'm getting a lot of hit markers with it so i don't understand why people are still using it and um you know it's just i don't know just people are like forcing weapons down your throat sometimes man and it's just a really really dumb way to actually try to advertise false stuff man so i'll let you guys know what's going on here in the underground world you know i'm letting you guys from under as another dog of the game you know i'm letting you guys know what i see the asm fucking sucks all right watch out with the asm stay away from it if you're like struggling right now in call of Duty advanced warfare stay away from the asm right now use the bow man the bow is just a great all-around weapon depending on the attachments you add and another thing that this happened in this game, guys, it was said that I called in the system hack several times, and also the other one that looks like a chopper. I really don't know the name of it, but I, it's, it is kind of similar, to, like the assault rifle, uh, the assault chopper. I mean, not the assault rifle. It looks like very similar to the assault chopper, and um, that's the way I had to customize it. That's why I really don't bother to like even use it because I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be automatically, and also stay close to it because then now you can lose range, and that's how it's gonna disappear. Because at one point of this gameplay. I ended up using the chopper and I got away from my character too much and then disappeared and I'm like what the fuck I wish it was just gonna, gonna control itself like around the map but why is there a range man there shouldn't be a range on that freaking kill streak no wonder the kill streaks kind of suck in this fucking game so um yeah my kill streaks did a sweet of job you know containing everybody and also helping out my my uh my teammates you know with the spy playing the system hack the, the same time I'm getting extra assist points every time I call those in if you guys don't have the extra assist points you're pretty much gonna be slow on getting every single one of your kill streaks so once you got the system hack going when you got the spy playing going at the same time your freaking assist points doubled or triple sometimes because every time 
if you add one, like, one of the attachments towards the system hack and also the spy plane, you're going to be able to see some uh, extra points being given to you. Like instead of getting only 15, you're going to be getting 30. And then once you get the system hack going on at the same time with the spy plane, you're pretty much going to get a lot of points. So that's like the most easiest way to get a lot of, of your kill streaks going on. So um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out still like a way of combination to actually give me kill streaks a lot more faster. So and I'll let you guys know uh, what is up with that because I'm getting there. I'm getting, I, I'm going back, guys. I'm getting back in, into my Call of Duty shape and getting ready for the next Call of Duty. You know, it's just I'm almost there, for sure. I mean, you guys haven't seen me like this in a long ass time. Not even on day one of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I was complaining about this fucking game, but lately, goddamn, I've been getting a little bit better. So. Uh, Follow my road, guys. I'll be getting better along the way. You guys want to see more best class setups and also about the bell. Please subscribe for more. And also, there's going to be more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay coming up, guys. So I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare.